Daniel? I'm Macy, Child Protective Services. Is there a reason why your daughter's not in school? Until you've paid back 11 times what you have taken, any creature you touch will die. She needs a parent. Okay, you just watched the clip from the new film Ba, which tells the story of a father and daughter without options, money, or a home. In a desperate attempt to secure his daughter's future, the title character becomes death itself. How does that happen? Let's break it all down. We've got Lawrence Cow with me this morning. We also have uh, Benjamin Wong here as well. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Really Thanks appreciate it. Yeah. You are death. In the yes. Movie. <laughs> well, I, I become him. You become Correct. death. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind the film and why it was so important to create. Yeah. I mean, uh, the film actually was based off my inspiration of my experience of just becoming a dad and going through fatherhood and not really knowing how to navigate that and just having a lot of questions. Um, mm -hmm. And so as I wrapped my head around, you know, all the um, conundrums of fatherhood, um, I started writing the story and it was about a father who was going through a situation that was a lot worse than my own, but mm -hmm. sort of taking those real emotions that I was experiencing and putting it on a, a much larger canvas. That is so interesting. And then for you playing your character, tell me a little bit about your character and what was it like playing a father, but then playing death, I suppose. You know, just wrapping my head around being a dad was, was very hard for me at first. I was mm -hmm. definitely very apprehensive jumping into this. And so um, that in itself was a challenge. But you know, and, and also, but also being an Asian American and being to play roles like this are far and few in between. So just being able to latch on something that's super challenging like this was definitely a lot of fun. I chatted with Ben; he uh, he directed me in this as well. So like a lot of the performances were, um, you know, he pushed me to get there, and um, you know, he he told me that uh, one thing to think about was just like if you had a daughter, you know, it's just ripping your heart out and putting it into somebody else and just mm -hmm. believing that now you are in this other person. And so just uh, navigating the story through that was... That's beautiful. I yeah. mean, that's tough to see. I mean, watching, you know, the film, um, there are some pretty difficult scenes too, but I think that it really speaks to what you just mentioned, that every parent, I think, can relate to it. Um, trying to do everything they possibly can for their child, trying to make sure they have the best future, the best access to things. So um, I want to go back to the diversity aspect of this because I do know that Hollywood has made some strides when it comes to representation. How, how, what's your dream for this film and the impact it can make in the Asian American community? Yeah, our dream is just for this film to be seen by um, Asian American audiences, the Asian, Asian diaspora all over the world, um, you know, fathers, mothers, parents, um, and just anyone who can relate to this experience. You know, I think it's a Asian American story, but it's also a universal story about mm -hmm. parenthood. Let's talk about the whole film festival. You guys are going big. This must be exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been great. Uh, we're just hopefully early in our festival run. We just uh, premiered at Cinequest up in Northern California. And next mm -hmm. up we have Brazil, so we're really excited about that and yeah we would love to just get it out there and you know have people all over the world see this film what is the process i'm not too familiar so you're going to be in all these film festivals what's the process for people who want to watch it on you know there's a million different streaming platforms or we've got youtube or anything else like how does that become accessible yeah that's a great question and we're that's something we're working on right now um to find distribution for the film mm -hmm. so we're doing the this is a very independent film. Um, we're doing the film festivals, and then hopefully after that we'll be um, on streamers, and so people everywhere can watch it. So it's based on the hype. Once we get the hype surrounding it, hopefully you guys will get the distribution. Yeah, the more people that watch it, you know, we're mm -hmm. just in the beginning stages, and hopefully mm -hmm. it'll find its legs. This is exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I know this is what we're focusing on, but I still feel like it's the top of 2024, right? Do we have anything else that we're looking forward to this year? Any any goals aside from obviously getting the distribution to make sure it's super mainstream? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, outside of this project, yeah. um, you know, just trying to go back to being a dad a little bit. Um, <laughs> this project has been taking a lot of time, so yeah. looking forward to spending time How with the kids. How long did the project take? About five plus years. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We shot it during the pandemic too. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, what was that like? It was rough. I mean, I mean, we were one of the first, uh, independent or not independent, we were the, one of the first productions to be shooting during the pandemic. So mm -hmm. obviously that was just such a crazy time with the masks. Um, 
eight hours of Zoom a day. So it was a challenge in the beginning. Um, that's kind of the norm nowadays, but um, yeah. Yeah, was, I mean, it's, it's interesting getting direction from you, like wearing a mask and everything. <laughs> and it's uh -huh. just like, um, and, but also, you know, it's, it's interesting because it, it goes hand in hand with what the movie's about too. Like um, me as death, you know, I can't touch anybody. You know, mm -hmm. I have to keep my distance from my daughter. And so, you know, it, it plays well into um, what was going on at that time. It's really tough. Well, you know what, we ran out of time already, but I appreciate you both being here so much. I wish you so much success because I definitely think that this should be mainstream. So let's make it happen. Pay attention and show them some support. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to put all of this up on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.